So the Low Pro Fast Pack 305, it's like five years old now, almost. So I bought this when I had a Nikon D90 with a grip and a smaller lens, knowing I'd kind of grow into it buying bigger equipment, bigger stuff. At the time I had a 15 inch laptop, I bought one that would take a 17 inch laptop. Don't use laptops now, but this compartment, now I keep rogue flash benders, anything flat, programs, uh, paperwork, and tape, it's a good size for tape. When I'm hiking with this bag, which is very good because it has big padded straps, <clears throat> good adjustments everywhere, waist adjustment, sternum strap adjustment, weight distribution straps. Um, when I'm doing that, when I'm hiking with it, I keep a, a unbottle, a camel pack unbottle reservoir. Sits right in here, wrap the, wrap the tube out, and it w works very well. Works better for a camel pack bottle than even the camel pack backpacks do, I think. In the top of this, that's how I run this every day. I have three mesh bags, which are attached to the backpack. Uh, this is gels and lighting modifiers. This is extra batteries, battery grip, AA battery grip for my Nikon D600. So I can slop some AA's in there and use it if I need to. And the red bag is cleaning kit. So it's a rocket blower, a ROR oil remover, microfiber cloth, goat hair brush, end cap, back cap for lenses, just to keep everything clean if I need to transfer stuff out. Uh, also on the top of this bag, I have my battery bag. So this is what I keep extra camera batteries in, extra double A's, extra triple A's, an extra card if I need it. It's nice, it's a nice waste pack. This was my first digital camera bag. Um, yeah, bought that at Best Buy 10, 12 years ago. <laughs> on top of my bag, I usually throw a, um, it's a little sewing kit. It has a bunch of different colored stuff, colored threads, needles, a thimble. You know, we need a thimble. Um, I do a lot of weddings, it's nice to have clothing fixing things. The pen holders in this, a couple of big pens, like thousands of these nice big pens. And a uh, giveaway at a convention, probably a couple years ago, is a refillable hand sanitizer spray. So I use that, I sometimes wear contacts when I work, and it's nice to be able to sanitize, get bad things off your hands before you stick them in your eyeballs. Uh, other little kits and stuff, I sometimes keep um, big band-aids for hiking, back of your legs, back of your ankles, all that kind of stuff. So that's all the stuff that's in the top, top compartment. Um, I love these. Uh, these are a recent addition. They're color-coded and they are strapped to the bag, so they never fall out. Top of the bag is nice and thrown in there. Front compartment, you can't keep a ton of things in, it's kind of skinny, but this is where I keep waterproofing materials. So two gallon hefty bags, you can stick strobes and everything else in there. And usually there's um, rain bags. So Frono's Photo did, did videos for these. I've been using these for almost 10 years, the Optitech. Optitech rain bags, sleeves, some with flash, some without flash. I keep a dozen of those. They're not in here right now because they're on the seat of my car and my trunk, it was raining. Uh, main compartment. So this, this is a fast access bag. That's why it's the Fast Pack 350. Um, you can use the side access even when it's on your back. It's a little awkward. You have to kind of sling the bag over but fast access for even the big camera. It's nice right here. I'll go into the top though. So if you want to get everything out of the bag, roll these back up. Front compartment. Security strap for the front, so that keeps this whole thing from ever being opened up without you wanting it to open all the way up. In the very front of this, this is sort of the extra bits and pieces. Another set of uh, gels, so this is an extra snoot, and an extra set of colored gels for one of my strobes in the bag, all cut down to the size of the strobe. Honol photo, very good, easy Velcro, Velcro modifiers. Also in the front of the bag, I have a, from a job, I, I printed these for a job, I didn't end up using them, but I like, I just kept them in there. There's pre-printed model releases that are all single page cardstock. They're a little tougher and they're easy to hand out. Same thing everywhere else. I have dozens of pens scattered throughout the bag because you always need pens. When I was the editor of my, um, my college newspaper, I decided to buy a fancy moleskin journalist style book, which I used quite a bit. It has notes in it from college, of course, because you forget books. But um, I like having moleskins and other notebooks around that you don't throw away. If you buy moleskins because they're expensive, you don't want to throw them away or lose them or break them. 
So nice moleskin I can keep notes in. If I'm traveling, I'll have my passport up in the front of this too. Um, another modifier from Honolfoto is the Honolfoto grid. So the Honolfoto, I don't think this is a 15 or 20 degree grid, but it's enough of a grid to construct the light down to what I want it to, nice little spot if I ever need it. It's nice having in the front of the bag. Cough drops from Chinatown. So the main section of the bag contains everything I need for a quick two to three light setup with radio triggers and all of my equipment currently. Main section is packed down, Black Rapid Sport strap. All packed up, it's nice, it sits right the same size as the same part of the bag. Yank that out, if I ever need it, it's nice and quick to pull out and unwrap. The main compartment is a gripped lens on 70 to 200 Nikon 2.8 with the backwards, backwards um, lens hood. Everything all set up, full of batteries, full of everything, fits, slots in very nicely to this bag. Quick access, you can pull it out and get taken pictures quickly. I like keeping my telephoto on my body in my bag because I do wildlife stuff enough. I do enough quick access stuff where it's nice having the telephoto always ready and quick. The top slot is my 24 to 70 Sigma. These are great. They're big grapefruit, so they're kind of hard to store sometimes, but it's nice. Nice, it only takes one compartment. The lighting, I have one Nikon SB910, biggest flash the Nikon makes, and one SB700, which is one of the sturdiest and hardest to kill flashes that Nikon makes. It's smaller, it doesn't burn its capacitors as quickly, but it has a good bit less power than 910 does. The flash power is nice, but sturdy and being able to be dropped and thrown is nice too. Modifiers for that, modifier strobe dome for the 910. I've had, I bought this a long time ago, and only until I started using Pocket Lizards did I realize I could use my SB400. It's a tiny little two battery flash. No controls, but on a Pocket Wizard you can make it work to some extent. It's nice to have backup and a little accent light. And the bottom of that pouch is my Pocket Wizard set. Currently is two Flex TT5s on little stands, and a Flex TT1 on a little stand too, in case I need another stand. Those are all battery, those are all always ready to go. Um, and that's it for the main compartment of the bag. It's a lot of stuff, but it all fits nice in its own little place. Cards up in the card slots. I usually keep a pair of 64s in the camera, a pair of 32s up top, with an extra one or two in different floating places. And I think that's it. So it's a lot of stuff. It's, it's a big backpack, but it's very comfortable even when it's full of three liters of water and all your camera gear. And that's about it. Thank you.